the back of the body. The U.S. is in a yoga boom, with about 16 million Americans doing yoga, spending $6 billion a year on lessons, books, and other items. Yoga has become as American as pizza or sushi. Breathe with expanded awareness. Many yoga classes feature some quasi-spiritual talk. We're seeing others in their essence is that which is pulsating as goodness itself. Others, like Kimberly Fowler's studio in Los Angeles, present yoga simply as good exercise. If you've never done yoga and you walk into a class and the teacher's talking in Sanskrit and you're like, what are they saying? But what is often overlooked amid all the stretching, twisting and twirling is that yoga is a religious ritual, a Hindu ritual. At a temple near San Francisco, a Hindu priest says prayers before an altar. In another corner, a family prays for safe childbirth. There are about two million Hindus living in the United States, and many of them are not comfortable with the way their sacred traditions have been appropriated by American popular culture. We want credit where it is due. Swaminathan Venkatraman is a board member of the Hindu American Foundation. Our major concern is that the roots of the practice need to be acknowledged. And we believe in today's modern yoga movement in the U.S., uh, there is sometimes even a conscious effort to delink yoga from Hinduism. And be a force that is uplifting. While Hindu ideas like karma, guru, and avatar are widely accepted, Hinduism itself is often disrespected. Sometimes we have, you know, the god of Lakshmi sitting on Burger King ad, sitting on a burger. We've seen pictures of Ganesh plastered on toilet seats. Um, they think it's cute. Many faithful Hindus were offended by this news magazine cover depicting President Barack Obama in the pose of the god Shiva performing the cosmic dance. The Hindu American Foundation is pressuring the news media and school book publishers to change their depictions of Hinduism. Someday, they hope, Americans will learn that yoga means more than just a way of looking good in a pair of jeans. Now stretch the thighs back. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Berkeley, California.